The Andromeda Galaxy is the nearest major spiral galaxy to our Milky Way galaxy, at approximately 2.5 million light years away from our own. I can't believe I haven't actually done a video about that on this channel before, so tonight I will photograph the Andromeda Galaxy. And as soon as night falls, the Andromeda Galaxy will already be very high up into the sky, so I don't have to wait for long just to photograph it. But that means that it'll be directly overhead the light dome of Cebu City, which will be a challenge. Christmas, which of course Christmas is already coming. So I've got a new gear from my astrophotography and that includes this T-ring and the T-adapter that allows me to attach my DSLR camera to my telescope. The T-ring and the T-adapter can be bought separately but when you have them it will now allow you to attach your DSLR camera to your telescope. I also have this headlamp here which is an LED headlamp that allows me to properly see at night. But this one only produces white light so in order for me to preserve my night vision as much as possible, I created this homemade filter here, although it doesn't really look that good, to preserve my night vision as much as possible by reducing the luminosity of the light produced by this F headlamp here. So all that I have to do is to attach this filter like this. So it'll allow me to see at night properly and at the same time preserve my night vision as much as possible. But other than that, I also have these two Barlow lenses here. The 5x Barlow lens and the other one is a 2x Barlow lens. I bought these Barlow lenses to photograph the sun and the moon before I had the materials necessary to attach my DSLR camera to my telescope. Other than that, I also bought the ADM2 cardioid microphone to enhance the audio of my videos and I'm also currently using it to create this video. All of the things that I currently have I got from Shopee. I have already photographed the Andromeda Galaxy before and I was able to get a lot of detail from it even though I only photographed it using my DSLR camera alone and not through this telescope here. What I'll be doing tonight is that I will be photographing the Andromeda Galaxy again and hopefully things will turn out better than last time. The moon will not be in the sky tonight so I don't have to worry about moonlight hampering my ability to capture the Andromeda Galaxy properly and in great detail. It's been raining for the past couple of days so hopefully the weather itself cooperates tonight. out here taking pictures of the Andromeda Galaxy. My imaging rig is already automatically taking pictures of Andromeda. I'm gonna take 30 light frames and 50 dark frames as well at 27 seconds shots of speed and ISO 3200 and the sky itself is clear and hopefully I will get a better image of the Andromeda Galaxy this time. I'm also currently using my phone to vlog right now because my DSLR camera is the one that's taking pictures. So pardon me for the loss of resolution in this video. See that thing at the center right here? That is not a star. That is the Andromeda Galaxy. And if I auto stretch it, this is what we get. My camera cannot actually capture that much detail of the Andromeda Galaxy, but I'm just doing my best here. Luckily it's clear skies for now and there's a thin wisp of cloud that's passing by, but that won't be that much of a problem. So looking at the Andromeda Galaxy through my computer here, as my, ca as my DSLR camera is taking pictures of it, is ominous because 
In case you've read the news lately, the halo of the Andromeda Galaxy that is very huge is already colliding with the galactic halo of our own Milky Way Galaxy, and many billions of years later, our Milky Way will collide with the Andromeda Galaxy in a billion year long cosmic dance. And I'm looking at it right now. So in the meantime, while my imaging rig here is automatically taking pictures of the Andromeda Galaxy, I will stargaze for a little bit and eat my dinner later on because I'm very hungry right now.